I think anyone else would have approached this script totally differently. When I read it and Glenn had told me he wanted to shoot it all in one shot, I tried to picture it all in one shot in my head, but I still went back to cut from here, cut to there, and I had this whole sequence in my head when I was reading it, but I knew that's not how Glenn wanted to do it. Anybody else would have done it the way I was thinking, which is a natural way. And so Glenn had a vision that was you know, something that other, so other people wouldn't do. It's kind of unprecedented for people in our situation who are super low budget indie. It shows that Glenn had a confidence in what we could do and a vision and something something special. It was a, a dance is the best way that I can describe it. That's the way that I've described it to people ever since we shot it. It was just choreography, you know. You step back and know that he's got to come in front of you for this next part but be in your position and making your correct faces because he's going to swing back around to get the reaction shot of Kenneth or whatever it was. So it was it was very choreographed, for lack of a better word. I've always been fascinated with public places. Um, restaurants are a good example where you're at your table and you're dealing with your life and your issues with whoever you're there, you know, what you're discussing. But then people right, right next to you or a table over, they also have their own lives and their own problems and their own laughs and jokes. So something I really enjoyed was going from group to group in the movie and showing uh, what you can't see in daily life, you know, that these people are talking about this, these people are talking about this, um, and kind of finally get to explore that, you know, that everyone has their own equal uh, weight as far as what they're dealing with. Now as far as the visual style goes, uh, it's based on the same idea as in Alfred Hitchcock's Rope. And in that film, it seems that the camera never cuts. They actually had 10 cuts or so, because that's as long as the film can could run. But at the same time, you never see those cuts. They hid them all. And it's the same kind of trick we try to pull off here. I know that it's the best we could have made it, because you had to give sacrifices on the camera side, the acting side, to get the best take you could, because you can't cut away or camouflage basically any mistake because it's all just there. So I was excited about how it came out. I think we accomplished it and it seems like it could be all one shot. The dance that they sort of had to do with the actors and the tables and the setting was pretty amazing because there was such a small space and room for error that everything they did had to be extremely accurate. Every actor in that was really, really talented, brought something to their character that may or may not have been there in someone else's hand. Just going in with that foundation meant that we were able to build something really solid.